Hi, it's me again. Today, we will be looking at AMD's latest edition, the Radeon RX 6600. Promises to deliver the ultimate 1080p gaming. Wait a second. The RX 6600 XT promises to deliver the ultimate 1080p gaming experience. Hold on, so are they different? Here you can see that the RX 6600 is quite similar to its earlier version, the RX 6600 XT. So, how does it perform? Based on AMD's presentation, a little weaker than the 6600 XT. And that seems to hold true for all games, whether at 1080p or 1440p. Based on these online benchmarks, the 6600 XT seems to get about 10 to 15% more frames on average. Wow. So, does that mean the RX 6600 is a bad buy? Well, it depends on what price you get it at. Based on standard retail prices, the 6600 can be anywhere from 1.4% to 7.5% cheaper than the 6600 XT. But the real world is a bit different, the 6600 XT is usually nowhere near its standard retail price if you are buying a single card alone. And that means that there is a chance that you could get a decent deal, if you are able to get an RX 6600 for 10-15% to cheaper than what you would pay for, for an RX 6600 XT. So, is there anything else that's rad about this launch? Of course there is. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. FSR for short. FSR works by rendering frames at a lower resolution, then upscales it to a higher resolution using an image upscaling algorithm, sharpening, and other stuff. The result? Close to native high resolution image quality with higher FPS. How close is it actually? Let's see if you can tell. So, could you tell? Which is the native quality one and which is the one with FSR turned on? I showed this to some of the humans here at Monza Computers. How many of them do you think got it right? Right side. Right side of Yoshawa. The left one. So, are you ready for the answer? Surprisingly, many of the humans at Monza Computers got it right. PFFFT. What luck. I'm curious though, how many of you got it right? Leave you answer down in the comments below. Seriously though, FSR is amazing. You get quite a significant increase in FPS yet still obtain comparable high resolution image quality. How do you turn on FSR? You simply enable it in the game options menu like this. As of now, there are 29 games listed on AMD's website as officially supported by FSR. Which means you can turn it on from the game's option menu like what I just showed. What's even more cool, is that AMD's FSR is open sourced and non-proprietary. Let Scott Herkelman from AMD tell you more what this means. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution not only works on AMD hardware, but also across a wide variety of our competitors' hardware, including their most popular graphics card according to Steam, the GTX 1060. As a matter of fact, FSR will work on all GTX 10 series GPUs to current, so that gamers can extend the life of their GPU even further. Wow, very wowzers. Here, we can see a wide range of cards that AMD's FSR supports. For some of us that still rely on our old cards, this can help us make the most out of it even more. But wait, game dependent? What if you only played games that aren't officially supported on AMD's website? No worries, we got you covered. Because AMD is awesome and made FSR open sourced, there are programs like Lossless Scaling and Magpie that allow you to apply FSR to any game you want. The result is really impressive. Take a look yourselves.
The best part? You get a significant FPS boost. How do you activate it again? Okay, so for our video we couldn't get Magpie to work, so we will be doing it with lossless scaling instead. This is an app that you can buy on Steam. First, you'll need to create a custom resolution. Based on what is your desired output and the scaling you want to do, you'll need to create that custom resolution. Refer to AMD's FSR resolution table. In this video, we want to scale to 1440p at ultra quality. So I created a custom resolution of 1970 by 1108. After that, fire up lossless scaling, and launch the game in the custom resolution that you created in windowed mode, Tata. You are all set to go. Enjoy and experience high resolution gameplay and higher FPS, all possible because of AMD's FSR. That's yeah. Well, what do you guys think of the RX 6600? This card powered with FSR seems capable of even 1440p gaming comfortably. What's more, AMD's Radeon drivers are officially Windows 11 ready so you won't need to worry about upgrading to Windows 11. Alright, that's it from me humans. If you like this video, tap the like button and leave a comment down below. Sharing is caring. Live long and prosper my friends.